We recently launched the Grios Garage Foam Cannon in our store at Obsessed Garage, uh, and we've talked a lot about why we like this specific foam cannon and what makes it so good, but we wanted to take it back to the basics and sort of explain what a foam cannon is, how you can use one, and some troubleshooting you can do if you have issues with your foam cannon. So what exactly does a foam cannon do? A foam cannon shoots a thick layer of foam over the car to protect the paint when we go to do the contact wash. This is the most efficient way to apply apply soap all over the car. Uh, it's certainly more efficient than spreading it around with a wash mitt. So how exactly does a foam cannon work? There's an orifice right here at the inlet of the foam cannon housing. So think of a really small hole, right? Pressure is forced through this small hole, which then creates pressure in the housing. Uh, once there's pressure in this housing, it will siphon up soap from the bottle. Uh, once that soap and that uh, water is mixed in the housing, it is forced through an agitator, which is basically a, a stainless steel mesh. It's like a little puck. It's forced through that, which creates the actual foam and then it's sprayed out the nozzle, which has this adjustable fan on it. There's an adjuster at the top where we can decide how much soap or how little soap we wanna go into the housing. Depending on the soap that you use, you'll have to adjust how much you dilute it in the bottle, but we found that 150 mils of soap to 750 mils of water is a pretty good ratio to get some very thick foam. The Grios Garage Foam Cannon also has the ability to use undiluted soap using the metering tips. Uh, we have a video specific specifically about the metering tips, but just know that you're gonna have to play with all three of them and find which one works best for you. As far as troubleshooting goes, if you're finding you have lackluster foam, the first thing you're gonna wanna check is the dilution ratio of soap. You might just not be using enough soap in the bottle, maybe you're using the wrong kind of soap, so that's the first thing that I would check. If you know you're using the correct amount of soap and the right soap and you're still finding that you're getting lackluster foam, the first thing you'll want to check is the agitator and make sure it's clean and not clogged. If that still doesn't solve your problem, you'll want to fully disassemble the foam cannon and check for any clogs or things that look wrong. You might even have to fully rebuild the foam cannon. We do have videos on how to fully rebuild the foam cannon to walk you through that process if you need to do that, but just know that you can reach out to support at Obsessed Garage for questions before you get to that step. And there you have it. That's the basics of foam cannons or at least everything we think you need to know to get started. Whether you already have one of these or you're looking to add it to your detailing arsenal, I think it's something you're really going to enjoy. And once you have one, it's pretty hard to go back to not having one. You can pick up the Grios Garage foam cannon as well as pressure washers or anything else you'll need at obsessedgarage.com. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments or email support at obsessedgarage.com.